Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Brick Odyssey. Last time we played, we checked out the brand new update that added Rocket Bricks. We had an insane Elementalist run uh, that ended up winning so hard that we crashed the game. The dev has apparently fixed that. We're going to see if pressing continue. Hey! Uh, so this is what happened last time. Last time we beat the game, but it crashed and we weren't able to see our victory screen. Uh, but when they fixed the patch, they made it where we would for sure be able to actually win here. So we got progression level. We leveled up. They fixed the game here. We unlocked Trebuchet. Deal 15 damage to the furthest enemy. Every ball recall. That is interesting. That is interesting. So awesome. I'm glad that we were able to see the continue screen. Get the satisfaction uh, from last episode. Also, Abertu, thank you so much for the prime sub 18 months. That is crazy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, oh, and now you can actually see the highest, what, uh, storm level that every, ca oh, I think you could already do that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so what we want to do now is there's still one character that we haven't unlocked, right? Shade, which is win a fight in a single combo to unlock. The ball can only be ejected once and may not bounce back on the paddle. And obviously we are trying to win, unlock that with the cloud relic. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and play the raid ranger because I feel like we could try to do that as well. We're going to be on storm level three, which is the newest difficulty. The hero no longer receives a free heal after every fight. That is crazy. That is crazy. Um, that's going to be pretty hard for sure. Um, okay. Before getting recalled, the ball throws a multi-ball. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's maybe do a recall build with the new trebuchet. So if we don't unlock the new character, maybe we try to get a fun trebuchet build or something. But I really want to unlock the new character, right? Because if it's anything like the elementalist, that's going to be insane. So in order to unlock this character here... Um, we need to win an entire combat without letting the ball hit the paddle. Now, so the ball hit the paddle here, right? We can't unlock shade here. Obviously, if you don't remember what the ranger is, every time, I think it's like every time or every two times that the ball hits the paddle, uh, we get, uh, more of, uh, you know, the, um, the little arrows to, uh, to fire, right? And, uh, it's pretty cool. Fun class. We've been playing the Elementalist. It's been a while since we played the Knight. I like that there's so many different characters, right? This is something that I really hope... You know, we always talk about how this game is inspired by Peglin a little bit. You know, Peglin could use some inspiration on this game, right? With the class update, I really hope the class update's super unique like uh, all of these and uh, stuff like that. This is the easiest level to unlock the shade. Yes! Obviously, we didn't do it, though. If We should be able to still do it if we get the, um, if we get the Cloud Relic. That's, uh, that's what we're going to uh, we're gonna do. We actually beat the game with no free games once. Oh, a 20 HP free heal was added after people complained the game was too hard. Oh. Oh. Um, okay, so let's see. We're doing Trebuchet, right? Dealing. So Trebuchet is already dealing damage to the poison. So I feel like, okay, we'll do multi ball because we're also throwing multi balls here, and maybe that's a way for us to, uh, to do it here. But yeah, and also this music is very interesting. So let me know if, uh, you know, audio is too loud, too quiet, anything like that. Um, okay. So, like, I'm still going to try to get things, like, stuck here, right? Can I recall? I just realized. Can I... Does it count if I, if, if I use recalls and don't bounce it, right? I don't know. No, okay. So we bounced it there. So we're really looking out for the uh, the shade the shade relic and then obviously the trebuchet relic and stuff like that. Uh, just you know, so we could uh, or not the shade relic the um, the cloud relic, you know, so we could try to unlock the new character because we love new content in this game and I'm still very much enjoying this game. We still have a couple new things to unlock here. Um, okay, I think we're gonna do fury as well. Because that will probably help with the multi-balls. It definitely will help with the multi-balls, for sure. Okay. Uh, get it stuck in there. No. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying to, like, use my recalls here early on. Right. But I don't even know. The multi-ball... Yeah. The, the multi-ball may... Um... Oh, I thought that was my error for some reason. That's why I touched it. Um... I think we're gonna just have to wait until we get the uh, the cloud relic, obviously. Unless you know we get lucky. I'm gonna keep trying, but yeah. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Um, thorn, block, thorn. Do regen. Get a little bit of regen since we don't have any healing anymore. Okay, we're looking for the cloud relic. Um, Voodoo Doll, when a curse brick is destroyed, inflict 20 damage to the furthest enemy. So I don't know why those are so quiet, but courtesy of Endo, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, heals also damage the nearest enemy for same value. A Fury Brick is automatically destroyed every 15 damage taken. <sighs> or we could skip relics. Okay, I'm going to do that, get our reset threshold up. It gets one of the relics out of the pool. There's those rocket bricks we know we love. Um, I'm going to do Guardian Angel. We did Rocket Bricks last time. Um, they could be good, but you see a golden ram stuck in a tree. A snake hanging in the tree addresses you. Come on, take the ram down. Now I wish we had taken that uh, that relic about the cursed bricks. So we get a cursed brick, but we get th only 35 gold for a cursed brick. I, nah. Nah, I don't think that's worth it. If we had taken the cursed relic thing, then maybe. Obviously, we want as much fury as we... Oh, I didn't take that. Wait. Oh yeah, no. It was that it was I could have taken the thing that destroyed fury every 15 damage taken, but I didn't really want it. Um let's see here. Um okay, can't afford any of these. Uh holy okay, we can do holy brick and fury brick, and then we're gonna do reset threshold, reset threshold twice. So we have We've made our reset threshold a lot better here. Um, okay, we're fighting the Hydra. It's going to be a little bit hard. Not hard, but you meet a friendly goblin. He explains how he used to be an adventurer just like you, but now he's retired. He describes himself as a ball expert and offers to share some of his knowledge with you. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a reference to uh, Peglin. Probably not. Um, I could get an extra recall, but lose a reset threshold. Um, I'm going to actually do that because we get more multi-balls there. And also, because if we find the trebuchet thing, that would be pretty good. I feel like that's got to be a, a, a nod to Peglin, right? Nah, see, I'm trying to... Ah. I think we're going to just have to wait to get the cloud uh, thing. Once we get the cloud relic, I imagine it'll be relatively easy to... Um, to unlock shade as long as that hasn't been patched which I hope it hasn't so otherwise it seems very hard to unlock shade at least for a dumb dumb like me but yeah I forgot I really like these even these more simple obviously we've been playing the elementalist a lot and the elementalist has got a bunch of uh you know big learning curve but uh I you know that these basic classes the ranger and the knight are both very very fun right like this, I don't know, dude. I hope this game picks up. This game deserves to be so much more popular. Like I still think I'm really, I, I know I'm the biggest content creator covering this game. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. There's some smaller people. Uh, Tree of Ember is one of them from our own community. Um, but more, we have more people playing this game here. Are you preferring this or Peglin more so far? Um, obviously, it's hard to compete with Peglin, right? I have 150 hours plus in Peglin, and I think I only have like 10 hours in this. Uh, but this has been a breath of fresh air, right? This has been a breath of fresh air. I'm still very much enjoying it. I think this game does unique mechanics a lot better, right? There's so many unique mechanics in this game that are so fun and so unique, right? And I think Peglin could learn from that, but I think this game could use a little bit more polish, maybe. More things to grind out, more things to unlock. Peglin doesn't have that, but I just, I'm always, I'm always telling people that are making roguelikes, get some dang progression in your game, even if it's cosmetic, right? All of these classes, give them cosmetics, right? Like for beating the different Crucible levels, you know, literally anything, you know? Um, okay, so... Guards of the local militia are resting from resting around a campfire. We can accompany all of them. We get more damage, we lose HP, or challenge them to an arm wrestling match. We get gold. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just get the extra damage there. Lose some HP, but damage is a lot. I am gonna heal here. We'll heal one time. We'll get an event. Progression is the future of roguelikes. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like roguelike progression, right? But just something, something to. Uh, Give some people to work towards, you know? Oh, with roguelike. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna get uh, lose gold, but uh, yeah, 20 max HP, that's good. And here we go, boss one, more guardian angel. I'm hoping we find the relic um, that if you get guardian angels, um, when you already have them, it does that whole crazy thing. So now this class is actually very good um, against um, this boss here, uh, simply because it's very easy for us to, uh, to to destroy the Hydra little things at the top. I'm gonna just stay here. Recall, oh, that was bad. Nice, we hit it. So we have these multi-balls. We could get more, right? I'm kinda waiting, though I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I really shouldn't do that because um, yeah, they reset with the recalls or with the reset threshold. But yeah, I have to, I need to go hit, uh, those things that reduce the, uh, the max HP. Nice. Oh, we almost hit it. Dang it. Dang it. It's hard to balance all the multi-ball. We haven't done a multi-ball build in a while, honestly. Oh, multi-ball is hard. Nice. Okay. We lowered the max HP there. Just trying to hit all of those. Every time we reset, he gets all his health back. We're we going for going for over here. Okay, I almost got it. Come on. No, it reset. Dang it. I think we hit one of them over here. So I'm going to try to target this one now. But yeah, nice. Just being able to fire where you want is so unique. Like, it's not the most complicated character, but it's just so unique. So we're going to recall, throw the ball up here. Taking some damage here. Think it should be okay. Nice. Hit that. And now can we... And our damage is pretty crazy, I think. Considering we buffed up the damage a bunch. Nice. He's only got 500 HP now. Okay, so I think we could just do 500 HP damage here. Could probably still try to lower the max HP, but I think think that we'll be we'll have we have yeah, dude, our damage is so high here. That obviously gives him an extra attack every time we do that. And it's just cool because you can hit the specific bricks. If I'm wanting Fury bricks, I can really try to aim for him, you know? I think we're good, though, here. Nice. Hydra fight is iconic. Yeah. When the first time you fought the Hydra, you had no idea how to start chipping away. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, all the bosses, everything's so unique, you know? <coughs> okay. Uh, block two for each brick destroyed by the Ranger's active skill. The active skill has a 10% chance of shooting a multi-ball instead of an arrow. Or shoots a burst of bolts after every refresh. The amount of projectiles is equal to the hero damage value. Holy cow. Wait a minute. We've been... We have, we have brought up our damage so much. That is going to be insane. So every time we refresh, we're going to fire a million freaking bolts. Holy cow. I remember that before. I don't think we've ever had that much damage with this, though. And obviously, we're still looking for the cloud. You know, that's the main goal to uh, to unlock the new character. But it may take us a couple times, right? We may we, This whole video, we may not find it, which is fine. You know, I do plan to keep recording a couple more episodes. It seems like you guys are enjoying this on YouTube, you know, and on Twitch. And I'm really enjoying this game. It's, you know, very similar to Peglin. So it's like familiar, you know? I mean, it's just so unique. So unique. Got so unique mechanics. So that's what's good about that reset threshold being, um, now obviously this map, we're probably not going to get to see it, but, and yeah, not healing after every fight is interesting. Obviously, apparently we've beaten the game without that before, but, so I should be like recalling more to get more of the multi-balls. Nice. Okay. Cause yeah, we took a lot of damage there. Um, okay, we will heal because we're about to fight an elite. 
Okay, we're fighting the Frog King. This one's kind of hard. Oh my gosh, that was so dumb. Get away from me. Get your freaking frog tongue away from me. Don't want your frog tongue. So yeah, so now I'm just like specifically going for the fury. And then, you know, because obviously... Get away. Oh yeah, I forgot that the, um, the holy stuff... I think actually protects us against the frog tongue. I think someone left me a comment at some point saying that. Oh, I thought I had a recall. Okay, no. We're gonna do a charge shot here. Totally forgot that that was like what that mechanic was or didn't know what that mechanic was until people described that. We are taking a decent amount of damage though and our reset threshold still doesn't seem to be great. But we got this. You gotta persevere. You gotta persevere. Once we get this reset, though, it's gonna be crazy. Nice. Yeah, the holy stuff is protecting us. I still don't feel like we have a ton of refreshes here. Even though we've done the reset threshold. Of oh, yikes. A bunch. Oh, he got it. Rip. So we healed up. We took a lot of damage from this fight, but this was an elite, right? Okay, here we go. That was, that was it? That was it? That was it? I was expecting way more projectiles from that. I was expecting way more projectiles. So we definitely need more fury. That's for sure. Because Fury would bump up our damage even more. I just thought that it would do more than that. <laughs> I was very underwhelming. I remember it being a lot better than that, but obviously not. Obviously not. Okay. Uh, gain one damage for the duration of the fight every five bounces on the paddle. Heal two HP when a rocket hits an upgrade of brick. So that's more healing, which we need, but I need damage. I think we just got to start buying healing. It's going to be a little bit hard. Heal. But that was an elite, so kind of expected. I'm not too concerned. I'm going to try to do a, like a recall early on. It's just hard to balance all the multi-ball stuff, you know? We already lost one of them. Nice. Get the regen. Yeah, if we don't get this cloud thing probably going to be pretty hard to uh what's it called to unlock the new character that yes yeah, if we go to a store that's like the number one thing we need to do though we need to do the reset threshold so we get those rockets more because yeah i mean oh man we're just missing a lot too that's that's the problem with multi-ball Okay, uh, heal. So we're going to get a shop here. We'll probably do the event. Okay. Um, okay, I'm trying to, like, get this to, like... Uh, I was trying to get it, like, stuck up there so I could somehow unlock shade, but that wasn't happening. That wasn't happening. I'm just going to try to dig our way in here. Yeah, letting that guardian thing expire, not bad. It just gets teleported into the middle. That's the guardian is so good. Guardian angel stuff. Oh, so it's ever. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Every time we hit the wall, I think, is when we get more of those arrows. I'm missing my arrow shots. Okay, we got Fury. Fury again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna. Okay, here we go. Oh, we were about to get our freaking crossbow thing. And then we, yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna get gold because we're about to go to a shop here. We're gonna go to a event. The event happened to be a, uh, this thing. Okay, can I get it stuck? 
That's that's what I want here. Not trying to touch the paddle here. I'm trying to unlock shade. We have a bunch of recalls here. Actually, I think I could let this expire because of the guardian angel. Yeah, maybe we use guardian angel to unlock shade. Okay. No, see, I think that counts as touching. I think recalls count. I don't know. That was the last one. I don't know, maybe? I hope this somehow counts. Because it didn't bounce on the paddle, but I don't think that that counts. I don't think that counts. We're going to get gold again. Okay, we're going to be able to buy a bunch of stuff here. Um, creates a multi-ball each time your HP drops. At the end of every fight, get a bunch of gold. A recall. Okay, more recalls. I don't think recalling lets you unlock shade. Drats. Drat, whatever, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna heal a little bit and then reset, reset, reset. We did three resets there. We're trying to help our resets more and more and more here. Um, think we're gonna go for the elite fight. Hopefully. Hopefully this is good here. Okay. Um, go pew pew. If you, our last build we did rockets and it was really fun. Um, I don't really, rockets may be a good way to, to do it, but right now it, it's not fitting in with my exact build. Man, I wish recalling counted. Hopefully we don't lose any max HP from this. Because this fight's the one that makes you lose max HP. Probably going to lose it though. Don't know why I recalled that. It had been in the middle of the map. Just lost some max HP. That was a good amount of damage there. So we have extra recalls. We're Man, I hope we can get that trebuchet though. Cause that trebuchet sounded really cool. Like we're building around recall stuff. So I hope we can actually see what we're, you know, what we just unlocked. Uh, stop summoning people. Dude, yeah, I, the reset threshold still see. I, I'm upgrading my reset threshold, and it still seems really tough right now. Yeah, we're, we are losing a lot of max HP here. I need this reset threshold so bad. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Nebula Jar. There we go. Okay, so that's the thing, how to unlock the new character. Okay, create a cloud on each side of the paddle for the balls to bounce on. So that is how we're going to maybe unlock this character here. Um, I will do explosives just to get a little bit. Pyroball could have been cool too. Chest here. Rainbow. Extra gold. Two multiballs at the start of every fight. One damage every time you get a cursed brick. And stuff when you remove a cursed brick. Say multi-ball, multi-ball at the start of every fight. I'll get some regen. Okay, let's see if we can unlock the character here. So we have to only hit the clouds. Oh, I recalled, so I'm assuming that doesn't count then. I believe someone said recalling doesn't count or it didn't seem like it counted, so. Probably isn't gonna count here. Yeah, unlocking shade is kind of a hard requirement, honestly. Not even gonna lie. I'm gonna let that go. Taking a bunch of damage right now. Not doing enough DPS, plus we, yeah, we hit it already. Dang it. Took a bunch of damage.
Dang, dude, I'm, I may die here. I mean, we take so, we just took so much damage. Maybe it was because I was paying attention too much on something I shouldn't have. I don't know. Jeez. Recalling breaks the combo. Holy bricks and clouds are good. It's actually my fault. Shade is hard to unlock. I'm the one who told the dev you could beat some levels in one shot. <laughs> we have to heal. I don't. I think we may lose this boss fight, y'all. I don't know about this. I'm not even going to attempt to win this boss fight. But, you know. I'm trying to hit the fury bit bricks and the regen bricks here. Should be easy for us to get most of the pollen stuff, though. Get some, uh... Some recalls. Okay, the reset threshold on this one's not too bad. Oh, jeez. I'm taking a lot of damage here. I, that still feels a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, I got to get those pollen things. Otherwise, I'm going to keep taking damage here. I'm trying to hit the fury... A lot of these things right now here. I think we're gonna die here. I'm trying my best though. I missed all of that. We are at 54 HP. Okay, come on. Hopefully that was a lot of damage. Doesn't seem like it was though. Every time I'm dropping pollen, I take 10 damage. I, I, I don't know. I feel like this is over. Can I get this regen? This is so close. Stop summoning pollen. I got to prioritize the pollen more than the... Oh, gosh. Than my own... Oh, barely. Oh, barely, 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 barely. Whew. Both of these boss fights have been close, haven't they? Block two for each brick destroyed by my skill. Projectile speed is doubled and the aim tracker appears above the paddle. That, that can make it hard, but your active skill, 10% chance shooting. Them. I'll do the multi-ball stuff here. Okay, got to try to unlock shade here now. Uh, more fury. Probably should have healed. I don't know. Dog's animated. It blinked. Oh, it is blinking. That's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy. Okay, so we're going to try to only hit the clouds. So there's a 10% chance it summons a multi ball instead of an arrow, which is very interesting. We may be able to do it here now. I don't know how you would do this without the cloud. I mean, I know you can, but... This is an interesting relic. I think we may be able to do it here. Gonna take a little bit of damage, probably. I cannot hit anything. Am I gonna throw? There we go. Why am I having such a hard time? There we go. I unlocked it! Let's go! We unlocked Shade. I got the Steam achievement saying that we unlocked the Shade. 
Let's go. We definitely have to heal. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fight an elite here. So we may lose, but we at least just unlocked Shade, which is the entire point of what we were trying to do here. So, oh, this, this was an insane one here. This is a hard elite. If I do remember. Oh, he reversed my controls. How funny. How funny of you, game. Okay, I like this dog relic. I like having all the recalls here. I do really like this build here. Be better if we got Tribuche, though. Because that was kind of like the whole point of this. Holy cow. Oh my god, the freaking reversing of the controls. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. This is insane. I think we're going to die here. I'm trying to hit the... Uh, the regen. Reverse controls. Jeez, 18 damage. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, dude, we keep getting so close. Oh, shades during Peglin shades now. <laughs> Recalling the ball. Ooh, also heals HP. Yep. We we are so almost dead. That was an elite though. So heal. Um. Okay, I think right gets us an extra treasure chest. I think so. Whoo. Oh, is this an elite? I think we just got an elite. Okay, we used our recall a bunch. Okay, so we can get protected behind this snow thing here. Okay, hopefully the reset threshold. This is this is an interesting one. Quite, quite the build here. You're taking a lot of damage here. I'm trying to do these recalls here. We are taking a lot of damage. Oh, we are about to die. I just got an achievement called the Juggler. I do We keep almost dying. It's because we keep getting these freaking elites. Heal three HP when. Okay, when a multi ball is lost. Yep. Okay, we've gotten two healing relics. I cannot believe how close we are to almost dying. Holy cow, though. I like the sound of the crossbow revving up. Yeah, it's pretty dope. No way this is another elite. This is not another elite, is it? No. I think it's just normal. So every time we lose a multi-ball, we, um, we're going to heal three. And then we heal every f uh, five every time we recall. We have the couple regen stuff that we got. So hopefully... This is, this is enough. I imagine that that was very good though. Yeah, the dog relic, yeah. Like see, just the dog relic just summoned two of those there for us. I should have just let the... Uh... Look at all these multi-balls, holy cow. Plus all the damage that we've got. This is a really cool build here. This is a freaking cool build. Like this build. Now we actually can sustain and heal. We'd like to get the reset threshold up a little bit better. Oh, we didn't get to use our crossbow there. Um, okay, I'm going to take Fury. Actually, no. I'm going to take Gold because we're about to get to a shop here. Okay. Um, destroying a holy brick. Oh, and we already have it. Does the Spectral Knight. That's kind of what I wanted. Um, yeah, we'll take it. And we will heal and then reset threshold, reset threshold. So we got two reset thresholds and we got the thing that we wanted, which uh, if you have a holy brick, when you already have guardian angel protection, you do 20 damage to everyone. Pretty cool. Um, 
Increased paddle speed. The paddle shoots a multi-ball when not touched by the ball for 10 seconds. Yep, more, more multi-ball stuff. We'll take another Guardian Angel there. So we're gonna have to fight an elite here uh, pretty soon. But uh, bones of human appearance lie on the ground. Judging by the equipment close by, these are most likely the remains of a previous less talented adventure. We can get a fury brick, a multi brick, and a curse brick, or we just help our reset threshold. Um, yeah, bar some equipment, fury brick, multi brick, curse brick. That's probably pretty good. Um, another guardian angel, maybe could have healed, but we're almost fully HP. So I think getting another brick's good here. Okay. So let's do this. So we're gonna try to stop the. We're gonna try to start um, breaking out this ritual thing here. Come on, let's start. Stop the ritual here. We gotta stop the ritual. Okay, so we stopped the ritual for twelve seconds. That'll hopefully. Uh, Hunter is probably one of the few classes that can pretty consistently get that, I would think. Okay, the ritual has already started back up. That 12 seconds was sh very short-lived. Yeah, the recall stuff is working out really well here. We just a solid build here. I really hope we can get a W with it all. I, I cannot believe how many times we've almost lost with it. Nice, I didn't even know you were so low. When hit, if HP is below 25%, Pyroball, block the first three range attacks that would hit you. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, okay, we're gonna heal. And then get a combat, and then we have final, final boss here. Okay. I go for the Fury stuff. I'm kinda wasting all my recalls immediately. Probably didn't need to do that there. Hey, there's the there's the 20 damage to everyone. Oh, that's actually really good here. So yeah, every time we get a guardian when we already have it, get that spectral knight. This is why I'm trying to go. Yeah, spectral knight. Spectral knight's really helpful when there's a lot of these enemies here. And I like that, like, all the classes, you know, have their own unique relics and stuff like that, too. Like, I really hope Peglin does that, you know, where there's unique relics for each of the classes. So if there's going to be a bomb class, maybe there's some absolutely broken bomb relics that you can only find, you know, by using the bomb relic or something. Yeah, blocking first three range is going to be pretty cool, too. Gives us a, more time to heal up and everything. Nice. Okay, so would we rather have another Fury or heal? I think Fury, because we're almost at full HP. So here we go. Final boss time. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. Okay, we wasted our recalls immediately. And then took damage, because we're dumb. But whatever. Okay, we've already taken all the range damage that we are allowed to take for free. A little bit concerning. Oh man, going after that curse brick. Oh, we got the curse brick. Does all it does is five damage to us. Yeah, I need to save my recalls. I say as I immediately use the recall I get. I think we heal if we pop those bubbles. Minus one healing orb per wave. So we don't want to hit the thing in the middle. Oh, wait, no. The, oh, the, oh, never mind. Those are healing him. So we do want to hit that middle thing. I should have let I was so close. So I think we heal if we pop them, but if we don't, he heals up a ton. Oh, 
Okay. One less healing orb a turn. We are taking a lot of damage. I feel like I've been doing this fight really bad. Okay, we have a recall. Oh man, we are taking so much damage. About to, oh, okay. Gosh, we are about to die. Yeah, he is healing so much. Oh gosh, it's up to, ah. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I should have just let it go. It was protected there. Dang it. Dang it, dude. We're not doing like any damage to this guy. It's probably because he's healing so much. Jeez. No, nah, I think it's... I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Okay, at this point, we're just going to recall... Can't be taking dumb damage like that. Come on. Come on now. Okay, we hit the less healing bricks. I'm trying so hard, guys. No! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, poison, poison could have been really good there. Oh, Oh, man. Oh, blocking the bubbles with the ceiling paddle. I did forget about that. I did forget about that. Man. Well, you know what? We did what we set out to do, which was unlocking the Shade character here. Very excited. So let's see here. Shade. Base damage set to one. Gains bonus combo damage when the ball bounces or when a brick is destroyed. Combo damage is lost when the ball is recalled or destroyed. That's interesting. Active skill, the ball moves through the shadows to the top of the board, charges slowly over time. That is sick. That is really, 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 really cool. I am very, very excited. Uh, to, uh, you know, to try out Shade next time. Uh, we did, you know, the Ranger did his job at helping us unlock Shade here. Uh, and it was a pretty fun recall multi bill as well. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, thanks to the dog with the healing on that as well. So, you know, super, super fun build. Next time we play is going to be really, really fun. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're watching after the fact on YouTube, uh, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more Brick Odyssey videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Check out our playlist for all the previous ones. We've got some crazy builds in there. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some Brick Odyssey on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.